Hey, it's Kieran here from Flax.ie, and today I'm doing a blog post on benchmarking Google Web Toolkit versus Handcraft JavaScript. Now, for those of you who don't know what Google Web Toolkit is, which I refer to now as GWT, um, it basically allows you to write Java and co cross compile it into JavaScript. And today I want to test the performance of the JavaScript that's generated by GWT versus the performance of handcrafted JavaScript. So on the left side here we have the Java which we will then compile using GWT into JavaScript and on the right side we have the handcrafted JavaScript. I'm using a sorting algorithm known as the bubble sort to benchmark them. Both pieces of code are almost identical. You can see the method here and also here they're almost identical, so the perf it, it's a decent enough benchmark. Um, so let's look at the results. First in Google Chrome, um, now we have it in Safari, iPhone, Firefox, you know, uh, we have a lot more results on the site, but I'm just going to give you a preliminary look at the results, also version numbers, all that. It's all nicely done in the chart at flax.ie. But just to show you the code actually running, you can see here the changes. Um, very, very little difference. So that's that's the Google Web Toolkit there. And here's the handcrafted JavaScript. And as you can see, there's very little difference in the numbers. So all in all, good performance in Chrome. Very happy with that. Now, Firefox. It's a different matter altogether. We all know that Firefox's JavaScript engine is a lot slower than Google's uh, V8 JavaScript engine in Chrome, but it really these are extreme figures. But again, I might be doing something wrong. I'm not going to take this as guaranteed fact. So here we have the Google Web Toolkit. And as you can see, that's a very large number. And with the Firebug profiler, you can see here now, again, this method or function name um, looks somewhat obscure. Uh, that's because Google Web Toolkit code is obscured and compressed um, to make it run faster, I presume. Uh, but as you can see, it's run 10 times here, this method. Um, so that is the sorting method. And there are the results there, you can see yourself. Now the handcrafted JavaScript, it is faster but still extremely slower than in Chrome. And again in the profiler here you can see it's run 10 times and you can see the figures. They basically match what's here. So yeah, that's it. Um, there's more results on the website anyway, so check them out. And maybe you might want to follow us, subscribe, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Anything. Alright, thanks guys.